Since we're talking about using joysticks in your emulator that's running on top of Windows, you need to have one installed. You have to have a joystick set up. I'm not going to go through that here, but once you have that, you're ready to configure your emulators. So first we're going to take a look at the Atari emulator. Down here in my configuration for uh, the Atari games folder, we're going to bring up Atari, take a look at the joystick setup for that. Now once uh, Atari uh, starts up and depend upon your configuration, uh, you can go ahead and use the F12 keys to configure a lot of things. Most everything is done in Atari by pressing F12, and you get this menu. In the upper right-hand corner, we see joysticks. So we'll click on that, and there you see the setup. Now, you're always going to use the joystick, not your joypad, eh, but joystick one. Right now, it's disabled. And you want to even use a keyboard, for example, instead of an actual real joystick. You simply select that, and then you go through defining the keys. Now, you'll see here that they're already defined exactly. That up is already up, and down is already down. But I'm going through it just for demonstration purposes. Now, that's, of course, if you don't have a real joystick attached to your system. But if you do, you would select a different option. That's to use the, the real joystick. It says not available because my joystick wasn't turned on. So I'm going to have to turn on my joystick. So after I did that and I reboot Atari, and I go back to the F12 uh, menu, I'll see the joystick options have changed just a little bit. And again, I want to go here and select which joystick I want. And now uh, you'll see here that besides the keyboard I had, now it sees my Xbox 360 controller because I turned it on and restarted uh, Atari. So now I'm going to select that. And uh, now I'm going to have to save the configuration here. And this happens to be my medium resolution games one. So then I go down here and say, OK, uh, everything's uh, fine. I go ahead and I saved it. And then I'm going to go ahead and try and run a game with that. Now, this particular one, Asteroids, only runs in low resolution, so when I try to fire it up, I get that error. But I go back here and I change the options for the ST, as most people know, to set preferences. I change it to low and say OK. Now, it reboots it. Remember that because I saved it, don't forget. So it knows my joystick is configured. Sure enough, here I go into Asteroids Deluxe and fire it up, press my joystick button, and I'm off and playing with my joystick. So that was uh, an Atari emulator. So uh, let's go ahead and down here, and I'm going to bring up my Steam emulator. So let me go ahead and launch that. And you'll see here it uses external modules for configuring things, but joysticks are hidden. There's a little button right here let you hit that and do that. And we see here, we have the, basically the same thing. Now you notice that that scroll lock is on. That's not gonna be right because that's your mouse. We don't wanna do that. We wanna use this side over here, which is your joystick one mapping. So I rebooted to make sure I had uh, the fresh settings. So we're gonna go up there into that little icon for the joystick again. And you'll see here it says port one is always enabled. Because I have my joystick turned on, I can go ahead and press a button on my joystick you see that I pressed button number two, and I have to use what I want to do. I can use the left uh, one I want or the right one, whatever you prefer for your use in gaming on your joystick. You just simply do that. Some people like to use the hat, the little uh, uh, one on the right hand or left hand side. So it's up to you. By the way, if you're having a problem and you're not getting a response over here, you can just rescan to make sure it knows that your joystick is up and running. So uh, if you click that and then try back and over here again. I do remember, if we go back up to the uh, configuration up here, uh, I forgot to mention, change this to never so your mouse is active. Otherwise, you won't be able to do anything in the uh, interface. You, the mouse won't be moving around on your screen. Uh, for example, if I change this to always uh, something else, and I get out of this and I try to click over here, and I'm trying to move the mouse and it's not moving. So I have to go back up here Make sure this is on never uh, and close it down and click in your interface. And you can move your mouse again. So now that I have that set up, let's try and run Asteroids and see if we can use our joystick. Oh, I forgot. It's only low resolution. Now, because we saved the configuration, when I change this to low and it changes and reloads the system, it remembers it because we haven't got out of the emulator. 
So we come back here to Asteroids Deluxe. Uh, we push the uh, button on our controller, and here we are using our controller to play Asteroids. And just to point out why it's important to have that first one set up for your mouse, there are games that don't, or any other application that uh, don't use a joystick, they may use just a mouse. And one of them is The Empire Strikes Back. And this one uses complete mouse controls. You click on the mouse to uh, start it, uh, to play it. Here I am using the mouse to hit the easy because uh, I'm a chicken. And I come in here and I start playing the game with my mouse and moving the left and right to steer, up and down, and of course the mouse button to fire. So you have to really be careful of what configuration you have uh, for what game. So there you have it, the configuration for both the Atari and for the Steam emulators. Enjoy! So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and ring the notification bell to get notified of new releases. Additionally, you can find me on Facebook, X, and on my website. The links are in the description of this video.